front of me, I have the Dish Station by Synology. So this one, I do have to let you know, it does come without any dish already installed. I did opt to buy my dish separately just because I wanted to verify uh, the speeds of the dish uh, before purchasing. You can get some, I believe the Buffalo Link Station, which is probably uh, the direct competitor to this, uh, does sell an option with this already installed. And I think the WD Ultra Drive XD has the disc installed already. Um, again, uh, I went with this because one, I get to pick my drives. Two, I, I was looking at the interface. Uh, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and it looked real clean. And the main complaint of the other two was that interface with uh, connecting with the drive and the setup. So. I, one of the reasons I went with this. So uh, let's open it up and see everything inside. Base station here. to uh, disk. You get a power cable. A power adapter. Ethernet cable, some screws, some mounting screws, some more screws, and some mounting brackets. And that's all that comes in the box. So uh, let's go ahead and set up this NAS server. So I got this Synology NAS storage right here, and I actually have one of my drives right here. I got this uh, WD or Western Digital uh, four terabyte drive. I actually picked up two of them, and the other one's over there. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and mount them into this Synology NAS storage. Uh, there's two bays in here, this one and this two. And of course I am going to be setting this up as a raid. So without further ado, I'm gonna set this up, mount these drives in here. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult, but it turns out that uh, you only really need the mounting screws if you're using 2.5 drives. I am actually using 3.5s, so it's a lot simpler to install versus the 2.5. Uh, also, if you are going to use 2.5 drives, uh, you're going to need a disc holder because this is meant for 3.5s. So that's not included in the box. So again, if you have any plans to use the 2.5 drives, you're going to need the uh, disc holder for the 2.5s. Just busting out my other hard drive here.
drives are in there. And that's actually it. Uh, other than putting the screws on to keep this closed. Actually a very simple and easy installation here. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in that were included. Then I am going to plug this up and go through the setup. Technology NAS storage, it's you have to go to a website to actually set it up. Uh, from my understanding, you just plug it in and then you're supposed to be able to find it over the network uh, by going to findsynology.com. See if it'll locate the device. It's searching. All right, it found it. It found it pretty fast. Nice looking interface. This is exactly what I was talking about whenever I was looking for my NAS storage. Um, I just wanted something you know that wasn't overly complicated, and this one looks so far. Pretty easy. It's actually me to install an update. So while this is loading or setting up the drives, I found out that they actually have an app. Uh, it's called DS Finder. Uh, there is also a Android app, um, so uh, that will definitely, you know, fall in line with what they say, where you can use this to uh, back up your files, not only on your computer, but also on your phone or, or whatever mobile device that you have, such as a tablet. You should all be able to access and store your data on this particular uh, NAS storage server. Alright, it's finished reformatting the drives. Ask me for a username and password and when I'm going to call the server. Went ahead and put that information in. And okay, this is so I can access outside of my network. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. Of course, I'm not going to show that because it's going to have my username and password, uh, but then I'll go ahead to the next. So with the NAS storage, uh, Synology actually has some packages that they recommend. Um, you can select these if you want to and have it, you know, already have this predefined or you just skip this. I think I may just install this just to see what it is um but for those who don't need any of this and know what they're doing you don't have to install this so after installing the packages uh now it gives me a guided tour of what's going on with the SNAS storage. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this tour. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I, I think you, you get the picture. It's really easy to set up, not too um, technical for those who are intimidated by this. Um, I'm going to, like I said, do the tour, then throw my files on here, and hopefully not have to worry about running out of space for a good amount of time. So guys, if you found any value in this video, 
please like and subscribe and i'll catch you we later. head for the sky Thanks. it's all right our wings wouldn't fly it's all right if we are